Hello, and welcome to another edition of One Bad Veggie's Root Beer Review, where in this review, we hope that this dad is no joke. So, from the title, you can tell that this review is going to be about Dad's Old Fashioned Root Beer. And just Dad's, as most people know it. It's a fairly big brand. It's like, maybe like, uh, you know, you have your A&W, and then like your Barks, and then probably like Dad's somewhere around there is where I think of it as. Um, fun part is, um, I've done a review on this one before, but it's been a long time. Of course, this would be the time for a re-review, which is exactly what this is. So, um, let's go ahead and, uh, just go ahead and get into the ingredients and, uh, get this review started. I recently, uh, kind of repositioned my camera, so hopefully, uh, you know, stuff still fits over here. But here's the ingredients. There. Okay. Um, I'm rusty. So, yeah, as you can see, the ingredients, carbonated water, cane sugar, artificial natural flavors. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, that's basically, that's your basic uh, store-bought um, store brand of soda there. Here's the bottle for you. I'm sure everyone... Uh, well, you know what? I, don't, I, I actually don't know if this is regional or not, but I'm sure most of you... At least for me, I mean, I recognize this bottle right away and see it in cans, wherever. Um, so, so yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to say anything about it when those are the ingredients. Um, you know natural and artificial flavors again I, i've said this before but I, I really do wish that it was more common for the distributors of these sodas and stuff like that to kind of explain what the natural and artificial flavors are but i'm sure that they're probably just like some kind of like chemical names and stuff like that that they don't really want to get into and be like oh uh dexoflux and hydrogen uh kind of tastes like uh sarsaparilla i guess or licorice or whatever whatever it doesn't matter uh either way um yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, get over to the opening of the bottle and a little bit of a little bit of a sniff, a little sniffer. All right, so let's go ahead and crack this one open and see what we got. Yes, open one shot. I was so, I'm so scared of that now for some reason. So scared. All right. So. So, okay, now I remember from the last review of this that I gave it a pretty, well, at least I seem to remember, I gave it a pretty low score. Uh, already I can kind of remember why. This one, really strong anise scent coming out of it. So, uh, you know, I'm apprehensive about this one, but, um, you know, there's been a couple, couple of these that have uh, come back and surprised me a bit, so... Hopefully this one does the same, and uh, it's not as bad as I remember it. But but I'm not uh, I'm not holding my breath. So let's go ahead and get to the uh, pour. So here we are with the pour of Dad's root beer. Let's see if I can. I okay, we're good. Here we go. Ugh. I mean, it's not the worst, but uh, definitely not the best, that's for sure. Well, it sticks around, actually, so that's actually not so bad. So um, let's go ahead and get a taste of it. Let's see how this goes. Mmm. <laughs> like I said, very strong licorice taste. It's not like drinking, it's like, mm, like, it's like drinking, drinking, um, almost like a Twizzler or something like that. Anyway, we'll talk about that more in a second. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead 
give it a little taste test, see how this goes. So first thing I'll say is that it's not as bad as I remember it. But I still don't think I'm going to end up changing my letter grade. And I have a lot of reasons for that. Um, a lot of the things that I dislike about it are still the same. So let's just go ahead and save it for the actual review part, which will be like right now anyway. So, so um, what to say about this one? Um, first off, um, something I never really noticed till this time that I tried it was that uh, it's actually got a really good bite to it. It's um, I was drinking it and I noticed it's kind of like ooh, it just burns a little. Which is, um, I, I think that's actually a positive thing. I usually like it when it's like that. But uh, when you have very, like, creamy kind of vanilla root beers and stuff like that, you don't usually get a big bite to it. It's usually kind of like the ones that lean into, like, the licorice flavors and stuff like that that do have that. Um, however, um, since this is one of those, I can't really give it a super high grade or anything like that i mean it's definitely not an a or a b the thing that i'm wobbling with is it is, is it a d or a c now i remember the last time that i reviewed it i believe i gave it a, a d i mean it doesn't have a gross aftertaste it's still pretty sweet it's not it's not there's no really, not really any too many hints of vanilla or anything like that. It is, it does lean in the direction of, um, of licorice. I mean, it really is kind of a hard one for me because there's no hard negatives other than just the fact that it's like, I don't like this kind of root beer, which in the end... You know, it might be someone's favorite root beer. Who knows? Um, I guess in this case, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the D, with the caveat that that, like I said, it's um, I don't actually think it's it's bad. It's just not uh, what I prefer. And um, since these are personal reviews, I guess that's really the most important thing to remember. And to take away from this that um, these grades are all based on my personal feelings towards them. So, anyway, so um, yeah, D. So, there you go. Uh, another uh, successful review after a bit of a hiatus. I was, <laughs> what was I trying to do? Like a week uh, of reviews and that failed and turned into like a like month long uh hiatus so whatever you know these things happen um hopefully get back into the uh the, the routine again and um part of the part of the problem is uh it's christmas time the job that i work at gets very busy during this time so it's uh makes it difficult to find time to do these things also just a little bit of a selfless uh selfish self Whatever. I'm streaming more. Um, I stream on YouTube and I stream on Twitch now. One bad veggie, one bad veggie. You know, it's easy to find and find me easy enough. Um, mostly just video games and stuff. Um, no particular. It just whatever is uh, tickling my fancy at the time. So, I got. Sorry, I'm having some. Uh, well, it's root beer. I mean, you know what that does. Anyway, so um, other than that, I am still posting. Um, I am live streaming the Gunpla builds, but also posting the uh, video afterwards on uh, the YouTube channel. So, um, and like I said, my when I do stream, I usually stream to both YouTube and Twitch. Um, still kind of getting the hang of the how to do all that and everything, but. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's basically it. So so that's it for this review. Uh, come back for the next one. And I hope you had a good time.